Hello everyone, my name is Lily. Today I will talk about my favorite toy. My favorite toy is Hachimo. I like it just because they are cute. Here. Look, they are cute. Look. And do you like this toy? Hello, Hanling. Thank you so much for showing me your Hachimo babies. I love those toys. I especially love the blue one. And I don't have any, but look, I do have something that I really want to show you. This is a baby chick. Can you see it? It's a baby chick with the baby eggs. So this reminds me of the Hachimo animals. I love it. Do you like it? I love blue. Thank you. Bye. Do teacher, do you like yo-yo? I like yo-yo. Teacher. Hi, Dukang. I'm teacher Anna. Yes, I love to play with yo-yos. I don't have one right now. But when I was your age, I played with them all the time and practiced so many tricks. Can you do any tricks with your yo-yo? Thanks for showing me your yo-yo. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Lucy. My family has five members. My Grandmother, my father, my mother, my sister, and me. We live in ha Hanoi. Where do you live? Hello, Lucy. How are you? I'm Teacher Anna. And your English is so wonderful. Beautiful English. Thank you for telling me about your family and where you live. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina in the USA, the United States of America. Look, this is my neighborhood. This is where I live. I hope you can visit sometime. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is T. I'm six years old. My family has five people. My grandmother, my dad, my mom, my sister, and me. My grandmother's name is Doty Doi. My dad's name is Tang. My mom's name is Pri. My sister's name is Kang. My sister Nine years old, I love my family. Hello, Chi. I'm Teacher Anna. Thank you for telling me all about your beautiful family, and I like listening to your beautiful English. Good job. So here is my family. Maybe you can see. Look, this is me and my husband and my daughter, Gabriella, and that is her husband in the back. And then here's a picture of me with my son and my daughter, my son, Tony, and my daughter, Gabriella. And here's a picture of my mom and my dad. My mom's name is Catherine and my dad's name is Antonino. And here's a picture of me and my sisters and my mom and dad. Anyway, thank you, Chi. Bye-bye. 
Hi, teacher Erika. My name is Ian. I'm from A1.9. I want to ask you a question. I'm keen on reading books. How about you? Goodbye. Hello, Ian. My name is teacher Anna. And guess what? I'm keen on reading books too. And when I was your age, I always asked the teacher if I can go to the library. I like to help the library lady and I loved looking at the books. Thank you. Bye-bye. Do you like dog or cat? What do you do every day? Do you like to play the piano? And me, I like piano because it makes love my life. Goodbye, teacher. Hello, V. I wanted to tell you, come here, River, that I like dogs. And that is my dog, but he is not listening. But I like dogs and cats. I never had a cat though. Do you have a cat? And every day I love being out in the sunshine and taking walks. I don't play the piano, but I do play a little bit of the guitar. And I love music. Music does make everyone's life better, doesn't it? Thank you, V. Nice to see you. Bye-bye. Uh, I have uh, three questions for you. Uh, the first one, what are your hobbies? And the second, do you like traveling on the world? And third, how do you know Vietnam? Hi Hung, and thank you for your questions. My name is Teacher Anna, and my hobbies are cooking and baking and learning other languages. I love culture from other countries and learning languages. So far, I know, of course, English, and I can also speak Italian and Spanish fluently. I speak a little bit of French. And I also speak the Sicilian language, which is the language from the region of Italy that my parents came from. I do love traveling. Traveling would be one of my hobbies if it weren't so expensive but I do love traveling the world. And so far I have been to Europe, including um, England, Spain, France, Italy, Switzerland, and Greece. And I've also been to South America, to Argentina and Costa Rica. And I have been all over the United States and Hawaii and hopefully I will get to know Vietnam and travel there one of these days. It's my dream to go to Hanoi and meet all of my students in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City and other parts of Vietnam. Thank you for your question. Have you ever been um, traveling or have you ever traveled outside of Vietnam and where was it? I hope you visit me here in the USA. Bye-bye. Hello, teacher Erica. My name is Mary. On my hand is my teddy bear. My teacher gave me on my birthday is wearing a purple dress. Do you like teddy bear? Goodbye, teacher. Hello, my name is teacher Erica. Yes, I love teddy bears. They are so soft. Thank you. Have a good day. 
Hi, my name is Minh Được. I'm eight years old. What mm, sport do you like? And what food mm, do you like? Mm. Mm. Where you are? Where your from? From? Mm. Mm. And what mm, favorite? Mm, Hello, my name is Teacher Erica. My favorite sport is swimming. My favorite food is chicken. I am from the USA. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi, my name is Bing Tuan and I am 9 years old. I am in class A2.4 and what I want to know is, is do you remember when you are a kid, what did you do to help your parents? Hi there, my name is Teacher Erica. Yes. I remember when I was a child. I helped my parents do my chores, like doing my bed and picking up my toys. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello, I am Kwong in the class B1.13 and what I want to know is what is your favorite color? Hello, my name is teacher Erica. Hmm, my favorite color is pink. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello teacher Anna, my name is Mungan and my question is uh, where, where is your house and how much does it cost? Thank you. Hello, my name is teacher Erica. I live in McKinney, Texas. Hmm, I don't know how much my house is. I would have to look it up. But the house prices here range from a hundred and fifty thousand to a million dollars. Thank you. See you next time. Goodbye. Hello, Erica. My name is Jia. Today I play badminton. And do you play any sport today? Hello, I'm Teacher Kate. The question that Trey asked was, do you play any sports? Right now, I don't play any sports. I used to play soccer, field hockey, and softball when I was younger. And now, I don't really play sports, but I do a lot of dancing. In fact, I teach Zumba, which is dance fitness. So I guess if you call dancing a sport, then yes, that's what I do as my sport. Hello teacher, my name is Ling. I want to ask you some question. First, what is your dream when you want to chill? Second, why do you want to become an English teacher? Hello, this is teacher Kate. I'm answering a question from Ling. She asked about what was your dream when you were a child? I was kind of weird. I didn't really have a dream or a dream job when I was a child. Um, I did want to go to college and keep learning more. And when I was in high school, I discovered that I liked learning languages. I did Spanish, German, and French when I was in high school. So when I got, went to college, I ended up majoring in Japanese and minoring in Spanish. 
after college, I had a hard time finding a job. So I decided to go back to graduate school and I ended up going for English as a second language to become a teacher of English as a second language. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that, but when I started to do the program, I discovered that I really liked it. And ever since then, I have been teaching English as a second language. Hello, Erica. Hello, everyone. My name is Mindon. I like French fries and drink milk. Thank you. Hi, Mingduan. I'm Teresa. I like French fries too, but my husband loves French fries. They're his favorite food. But I like milk more than my husband. It's one of my favorite drinks ever. Thanks for asking. Hi, teacher Janet. I'm Inha. Mm, in my first floor of my house, my parents plant some trees and flowers. It's so beautiful. And in the first class, first lesson, you told me, I saw a lake, a picture of a lake. I think it's next to your house. And I want to ask you, what season is the lake is most beautiful? Hi, Yenha. My name is Teresa. Now, I know you asked Miss Janet about the lake near her house. So I asked her for you. And she told me that this lake near where she lives is most beautiful in the summertime. Now, I grew up near a lake also, but my lake is extra special because it's one of the biggest lakes in the country. So, here is where Janet's lake is, and down here, this great big lake called Erie is where I grew up. But I agree with Miss Janet that Lake Erie is most beautiful in the summertime. These lakes are so big, they actually, the water moves during the day, just like the ocean. It comes in and out. And it's a beautiful lake that's so big, you can't see to the other side. It almost looks like a sea. It's that big. Well, I hope you like my answer. Have a great day. Okay. Hi, my name is Toi Fung and I'm 11 years old. I'm in class I took one. What I want to know is when is your birthday? Okay. Hi Toi Fung, I'm Teresa. My birthday is on February 1st. Now, when I was young, I lived in the Northern Hemisphere in the United States, and my birthday was in the winter. But now, I live in the Southern Hemisphere in Argentina, and my birthday's in the summer. It's the best! So, who is not the IELTS uh, test? Yeah, of course. So, uh, can you tell me about uh, where you live? I'm living in Hanover. So, this is a uh, capital city. It's, uh, it's really enormous. And I think it's the biggest city in the country, I guess. So, next question. What sort of place is that? Um, it's so large. It needs a lot of things that you can go. It's so convenient. It's going to be comfortable for you. So, if I'm not decided, it's the first place you're going to go. 
when you uh, come to Vietnam. Is there anything that you are particularly like uh, in the city? I love the supermarket. Bye bye. So, the last question What kind of jobs that you will do? Most of them are workers. Uh, all of them are a small number of them. Uh, Hi, Kuang Fum. My name is Teresa. You asked about the city I live in. Well, even though I'm American, I live in a country called Argentina in the Southern Hemisphere. My city has a very interesting story. It's called La Plata. It's the capital of the province of Buenos Aires, but it wasn't always the capital city. They held a competition to see what would be the best city to be the capital, and La Plata won. But they decided they wanted a special city, so they designed it to be beautiful and very easy to travel through. So the city is made up of a big square with diagonals cutting through the entire city. This makes it easy to cut through the city very quickly, but it also makes the traffic flow very well. They also decided they wanted a plaza or a park every six blocks. So we have a lot of trees, many places to sit and enjoy being outside. And in the center of the city, there's a massive cathedral. It's actually the biggest one in Latin America. So thanks for asking. I hope you enjoyed learning about La Plata. I am love. <laughs> I am, am like rabbit and cat. Do you like a cat or rabbit? Well, I guess I like cats. Thank you, Lan, for asking your question. I love all animals. I even like bugs. I even like spiders. But I really love this guy. This is my friend Tom. <laughs> Say hi to Lan. Hi, Lan. It was a good question. Thank you for asking, Lan. I like cats. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Hello, my name is Nguyen. Uh, how old are you, teacher? And what's your name, teacher? Bye-bye. <laughs> how old am I and what's my name? Okay, that's a very good question. Thank you, Tony. My name is Mr. Ben. You can see right here, Mr. Ben. <laughs> And I actually am going to have a birthday in two days. So I'll become 43. <laughs> 43 is a long time to live on planet Earth. It's a great place to be, and I'm so happy that I'm here. Thank you for asking your question, Tony. My name is Mr. Ben, and I'm 43 years old. Have a nice day. Hi, my name is Ned Juan. I'm eight years old. I'm in class A2.4. And what I want to know is why do you want to be the teacher? That is a very good question. Thank you for asking me. I have been a teacher for more than 20 years. I love meeting new students and helping you to learn how to speak English and read well and how to get a good score 
on some tests like IELTS or TOEFL. Also, my dad was a professor, so he was a teacher too. So I like that I do the same job that my daddy did as well. Thank you for asking your question. It was a good question. Hi everyone, my name is Kwang and I'm 12 years old. I study at B1.16 and I have a question. Do you like teaching? Why or why not? Please answer me. Bye bye. Wow, Kwang, let me answer your question first. Yes, I love teaching. And I will tell you why. Because I love to meet amazing people like you. This video was incredible. I like your introduction. I like the purple spider web at the end. I love to meet interesting people. And of course, because I am a teacher, I like to help people to learn. I think English is a very important skill. It's very good way to meet other people and to have success in this world right now. So I like to help you to make a better life for yourself in the future. And of course, for me personally, I just like meeting very interesting people like you, Kwong. I think that your video was very great. Thank you for asking your question. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tao. I'm studying class B1.14. I have two questions for teacher in idea. The first one is, how many hours do you work a day? And the second is, in your opinion, which country do you think is the most modern in the world? Why? These are great questions. Let me answer question number one first. How many hours do I work in a day? Well, um, I have three children. My son Leo is eight years old. My daughter Clara is five years old and my son Han is two years old. So I never stop working. <laughs> when I finish my job, I start my dad job and it's a great job to have. It's good to have little people running around my house. Now, which country is the most modern in the world? It's an easy answer. There are two countries, but one is more modern than anywhere. It's Dubai. The country of Dubai has so many modern facilities. They even built two islands where people can live in beautiful houses and ride their boat on the water. And if you look on Google, you can see these islands. They're made big by very large machines. And one of them is shaped like a big tree. And the other one is shaped like a map of the world. It's pretty incredible. So take a look. Dubai is the most modern country, in my opinion, in this world. Thank you. Thanks for asking your very interesting question. Hi, my name is Eve Alejandra, and I'm in class A10. I have one question for you, 
for you. What is your favorite place in your community? Hi, Alejandro. My name is Liz. And my favorite place in my community is actually really near my house. It's called Memorial Gardens. And here's a picture. What you don't see in the picture is the garden is actually a cemetery, very old. And people um, were buried there right when America became a country. I love Memorial Garden. What is your favorite place in your community? What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is penguin. The penguin is cute. The penguin is like cold day, ice day, and I like cold ice day too. Hi, Tyler. My name is Liz. So my favorite animal, hmm. In all the world, I love whales. I think whales are beautiful and big. But if I had to say my favorite animal that I know, that would be my cat. Her name is Jossie. And here is a picture of Jossie. She's asleep right now, so I don't want to wake her. But maybe sometime you can see my cat. Bye. Hello, my name is Green. I'm eight years old. Today I have two questions to ask you. Question one Do you have a book? Question two. Do you like peanuts? Goodbye, teacher Janice. You again. Hi, Ben. My name is Liz. It's nice to meet you. Hmm, you had two questions for me. The first question is Do I have a book? Hmm, what do you think? I have lots of books. I love to read, I love to teach reading, and I always want to buy more books. I'm running out of room. Oh, and my second question was, do I like peanuts? Hmm, I do like peanuts. I really like peanut butter. Hmm, I had some this morning for breakfast. All right. Thank you. Bye. My name is Liz. I was disappointed not to hear you on your video, but I love the pictures of Hanoi and Vietnam. It looked amazing. So you asked, where do I live? I live in Concord, North Carolina. It's in America. And I want to show you a short video of my city. Here you go.
So that's my city, Concord, in America. See if you can find it on a map. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Mian. My mom called me Mian, but I really like my little pony. Please call me Toilet. And I learning English at A1.1. What I want to know is when you go to sleep. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Go. Hi, my name is Janet Honlick, and I'm one of the teachers with ID. And my question was what time do I go to sleep? I go to sleep early. I go to sleep between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. every day so I can get up early to teach students in Vietnam. Thanks. Hello, Ms. Nanan. My name is Bao An. I want to ask you a question. How many floors does your house have? Hi, my name is Janet Honlick and I'm one of the teachers at ID school and my question I got was how many floors does my house have? We have two floors in our house. Thank you. Hello teacher Anna, my name is Hoang Lam. I'm in class A21. I'm 10 years old. What I want to know is where did you go as a weekend? Hi, my name is Janet Honlick and I'm one of the teachers. My question is, where did I go over the weekend? I went to visit my mother for her birthday. Hello, my name is Chang. I'm 12 years old. I live in Hanyang City in Vietnam. Today, I want to ask teacher in Ideal Center some questions for teacher. I went now question to teaching English at Idea. Do you have any other jobs? Hi, my name is Janet Honlick. I'm one of the teachers. My question was, do I have another job other than teaching? Yes, I do. I work for a university in the United States, working with college students from other countries. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Today, I will ask my question to you. When do you visit Vietnam and what story do you like and what folk do you like too? Hi, my name is Janet Honlick. I'm one of the teachers. I have three questions. When will I visit Vietnam? I hope to visit Vietnam in a year. My second question was about what are my favorite books? or stories or folk tales. I like books by, that are written by people from Latin America. One of my favorite books is called Eva Luna, a story about a young girl by the author Isabel Allende. Thanks.